Oh my god, Yuta, another three. Man, Yuta, if you're going to be shooting like that, you're going to find yourself permanently in this starting lineup. Already, two threes to start off. Oh my god, another and one. Eight, and man, you got to be more disciplined than that against Jimmy, and he was stunting on us. Also, I need you not to show up when I'm trying to run a play here. Yuta, the damn shooter, my god. I have yet to hit a shot in the second half. That is crazy. My only points are from the free throw line. And then I did that. That should be my first points, right? Oh, uh, no. I get That should be a flagrant. Yuta with the dunk. Big defensive steal turns into Yuta Watanabe. Throw down. Didn't think I'd see that. We've cut the lead to seven here. Oh, we can't. We have three. And eight and went to go guard Lowry. You can't do that. What are we doing? Bro, why is defense just... Uh, LaMelo, you don't know how... I'm so sick of LaMelo. I'm really tempted to bench him. We cannot allow a score, and we need a three on the other end. I would I would love to take that three, but I'm scared if I set a screen for LaMelo or anyone else. That I felt... How? 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 What? That's a foul. You are joking right now. I didn't hit any button but L2. And it forced me to foul. You are joking right now, 2K. Alright, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cedric Lewis My Career, My NBA My Career, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to have a quick intro this time because I have been taking like five minute intros the past two episodes. All right, I have my stats from the Sixers game in Synergy 2K. These were the stats if you did forget. Uh, DeAndre Ian had a huge game, 45 points, 15 rebounds on what, who will be the MVP of the season, Joel Embiid. I had 24 points, 8 rebounds, 14 assists. Grant had a solid game, and LaMelo had a near triple-double, while Embiid was held to 10 for 23 shooting on 25 points, and no one else really did anything. So these are the stats from that game. We are going to accept it, uh, accept it, put it in. I don't know. Did I put a modifier? Default is one. I'm not even going to put a modifier then. Okay, well, maybe I have to. And we are going to get 13,000 XP for that. As you can see right here, bottom left, 52,300 XP is what we currently have. And if you did not know, I am going to upgrade Cedric only at the end of each season. Instead of doing it per game, I just feel like that would be... A lot better besides me being like a 90 plus overall by the end of the season. I feel like it would kind of go better with player progression. So once we hit player progression, that's when I will upgrade Cedric. So as you can see, we only have two games left in this regular season. I only play seven games a regular season, one each month. And we are going up against the conference leading Miami Heat, my favorite team, next up. And we have won two in a row against the Suns and the Sixers, even though we've lost our first, what, three? Yeah, we lost our first three games. So we let's see if we can keep that streak going against the leading Miami Heat. And before I hop in, I'm actually going to do a rotation change. I am going to slide Rogier into the starting shooting yard, me to the small forward for this game only, so I can guard Jimmy Butler. I put Yuta Wananabe at the power forward position to guard Caleb Martin because he is 6'8". We don't need a high defender to guard Caleb Martin, even though he's good in real life. Uh, and I put Jeremy Grant on the bench. This is an experiment I want to try because Grant has been very poor starting recently. So I want to see if he's better off the bench because if we can find a rotation where we can have Rozier and Grant off the bench, I feel like our bench could be unstoppable with those two on it and how well Nick Richards is playing. Uh, Terrence Ross and Kenny Hustle are going to be out this game. I'm going to rest them because they are tired. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a kind of a must-win game against the conference leading heat we are currently the sixth seed half a game above the seventh seed and only a game back of the celtics who are the fifth seed and so without further ado let's hop into this game against jimmy butler and the miami heat here we are at home going up against the 46 and 22 heat we have had a great second half of the season going 38 and 29 so far we are looking like we're going to be a mid to high 40 win team and you love to see that exceeding my expectations immensely mainly because of that addition right there at the center position DeAndre Ayton has been huge 
for us. He's averaging, I believe, 21 points and 11 rebounds since being traded here to the Charlotte Hornets. I feel like that trade just worked out perfectly for us. It's exactly what we needed. Jimmy Butler is going to start off with a lot. This is going to be a tough Heat team to beat because if you do not know, some players around the league, I did change some of their ratings. So I made Kyle Lowry back to his uh, prime self. I'm going to kick that back out to you to the shooter. Can he start us off? Nope. He's starting off with Jeremy Grant left off. But yeah, um, Kyle Lowry is now a 85 overall, 84 overall. He's still putting up the same stats he did his first year in Miami, which is kind of crazy. Same efficiency, everything. So it wasn't that big of a difference. And I made Duncan Robinson a 78 overall again instead of his 74. So that may be a contributor on why the Heat are really good. But other than that, their team is exactly the same as Jimmy Butler is going to miss that shot in the paint on the run. Going to give it to you to the shooter. Uh, set the screen for Yuta. Uh, kick it back, kick it back, kick it back, Yuta. Kick it back. I'm still pulling it, and I was holding the button for too long that I released it early. Yuta from downtown, Yuta the shooter. It's starting us off with our only points of the game. I know I sometimes just cut in and scream a little bit when recording, when making clips. But, I mean, hey, I, I don't... Nice block by Aiton. I don't expect them to hit those shots most of the time. And when Yuta's going to hit that shot, when my teammates are going to hit their shots like that, I'm going to get excited. Terry, that's a bad shot, man. You do not take that. And the Miami Heat are not messing around here. I thought we were going to come in and just take care of business. But no, they are taking care of business. I did switch the sliders like I said I do last episode. I upped the CPU by 5, and I downed my sliders by like 3 or 4. So that makes sense on why they're just making quick work of us. Right now, I got to get a shot up. I got to get a shot up. Uh, Aiton, get it. There we go. Okay, Aiton got the shot up. That was tough. But this Heat team is not messing. As you can see, there's uh, DeAndre Aiton's uh, post-All-Star. It's flipped. Pre-All-Star game, he was averaging 15. Post-All-Star game, he's averaging 21. I don't know why. I mean, it's 2K. Hero with the missed three. On the break, I got Jimmy Butler, though. I, got, I just got to take it to the rack and hope for the best, and I bricked it. Maybe not a good shot. Oh my god, Yuta, another three. Man, Yuta, if you're going to be shooting like that, you're going to find yourself permanently in this starting lineup. Already, two threes to start off. We've got the lead down to three. Let's see what Grant and our bench can do. Uh, it's basically our starting lineup out there besides me. Down by five. You know what? I'm not, I'm not upset. I am not upset. I wanted to set the screen for you, Lamella, but you still somehow got that shot to go. Oh my god, another and one. Aiton, man, you gotta be more disciplined than that against Jimmy, and he was stunting on us. You gotta be more disciplined. This is Jimmy Butler we're talking about. Also, I need you not to show up when I'm trying to run a play here. You the, the damn shooter, my God. Oh, fast break. After a big Aiton block, you gotta pass that earlier, Lamelo. That might not go, and it does. Very lucky, because I mainly almost missed time that. This is the first time I'm getting a shot creator takeover. All right, I'm going to sub out here. We're down by two. Uh, they kept Jimmy in. We're screwed. They did not. Let's see. Down by four. You know what? I will take it. What is this man Jimmy doing to us? He's got 20 points at halftime. Yeah, that's all I needed to see. And then Hero knocks down a three and extends the lead to seven. This is not going well at all. Lamella, bro, you're, you're not helping either. I'm going to sub out. They've just been killing us on the transition. I don't know why I got subbed out. I had my takeover. And, yeah, we're down by seven. We're going to have to try and come back in this game. But, yeah, our transition defense has been non-existent. Luckily, Jimmy's not in the game, and they had that bench unit in the game. And Tyler Hero. So, maybe we can make some sort of comeback. I have yet to hit a shot in the second half. That is crazy. My only points are from the free throw line. And then I did that. That should be my first points, right? Oh, uh, no, I get that should be a flagrant. How in the hell is that not a flagrant, bro? That is wild. But I, I literally can't get shots off. And when I do get shots off, they're bad shots. Like, I'm getting clamped up, and no one on my team besides Yuta is really giving me any help right now. Like, not even eight, no one. Lamelo is just chucking up some... Lamelo's doing that. Lamelo is just not helping. Yuta with the dunk! Big defensive steal turns into a Yuta Watanabe throwdown. Didn't think I'd see that. We've cut the lead to seven here with three minutes left. The Hornets have life. I did not expect us to be within this close. 
and Jimmy Butler. There's no way that's a foul, man. I went straight up. Bro, this game is really just selling me right now. It's really selling me. There is no way that's a foul. Nine points. I need you to give it to LaMelo or Terry so I can set him a screen. Stop inbounding it to me. I'm going to be honest. This Terry Rozier starting experiment did not work. Give it to Terry. Prove me wrong, please. Yeah, nope. I could... Oh, DeAndre. Thank God you got fouled. Yeah, Terry, you're not starting another game this season. It's been bad. It's been really bad. Oh, DeAndre Ayton. Huge steal. Terry, you got to give it to me. I, You, you got to give me the ball. Five-point game. I've come alive so far in this fourth quarter. Mainly those free throws. I've gone to the line, I think, three times. Those have got me going. That's got to be. There we go. No foul. Great rebound. You, 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 Aiton. Aiton. That could have been. Give me the. Yeah, Terry, I don't be on the same court as me ever again. Don't. I don't want you on the same court as me ever again. Aiton, I need you to throw that down. He missed. He really just missed. The Arguably one of the biggest shots of the game. It's a dunk. And he misses it. And I foul. Oh, my God. Oh, we can't. We have three. And Aiton went to go guard Lowry. You can't do that. What are we doing? Bro, why is defense just... Uh, LaMelo, you don't know how... I'm so sick of LaMelo. I'm really tempted to bench him. The only reason why he's getting the ball is so I can set a pick and fade for him to try and get open for three. But apparently, th yeah, that's not happening anymore. I don't want LaMelo handling the ball. I don't. And we need to score quick here. We need to score quick. And we need a three. They got that lockdown, Terry. I swear to... You got to be kidding me. That just lost us a game. Instead of getting a good shot, Terry Rozier thought it was a good idea. Let me launch this contested three real quick. And I left Lowry open there. That's a dagger. He missed. He missed. He missed. You have to give me the ball there and not LaMelo. We cannot allow a score and we need a three on the other end. I would I would love to take that three, but I'm scared if I set a screen for LaMelo or anyone else. That I thought, how? 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 What? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. That's a foul. That's a foul. You are joking right now. I didn't hit any button but L2. That's how this game ends. That's how this game ends. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I... I'm in awe. I am in awe. I was fine with losing this game normally. Losing this game like that, like that, is, wow. How in the hell is that a foul? J just how? There in no universe, in no universe, is that called a foul? But 2K thought, yep, yep, that, that's that's enough contact right there. That's enough contact right there. Get, send them out. Send them out of the game. Really? Really? And we're not going to win a game when Yuta's our second leading scorer. It's not going to happen, dude. LaMelo, where were you? DeAndre, where were you? We, Jeremy Grant still did nothing off the bench. Terry Rozier, you should be out of the rotation. Out of it. Unbelievable, bro. That is the... I've never seen a worse... Anything happened in 2K. In my years of playing 2K, I played this game for seven years. I have never seen anything worse than that right there. And I'm not even exaggerating. That's crazy.